Hi guys, I uh, just wanted to make uh, this uh, spotlight for Dendrobium amethystoclasum. I've got four spike and in full bloom now. Uh, this orchid um, is originating from Philippines and Borneo those area and um, needs a highlight and dryer winter rest and um, with a little bit of cold uh, winter and uh, to uh, initiate the spike um, this orchid that I have um, has been uh, potted into bark and uh, sphagnum moss mix and um, it waters takes a lot of water in uh, summertime and in winter a little bit less I mean for about a month or about even two months I water it every I don't know three weeks two weeks two three weeks uh, so it's a drier winter rest uh, and but when uh, the, the growth starts um, then you have to water it a lot and then it uh, started um, these are spikes and as you can see it's, it's from uh, old growth uh, it's been in bloom for more than two weeks now and I thought to make uh, this this video before all the flowers are gone started to go a little bit you know the yellow bits of it you can see um, but still is a nice nice bloom for a few more days so um, they're not very long lasting they're about two to three weeks maximum but they are beautiful when they're out and the cluster of uh, bloom make it up for all the trouble that you might go through growing it so it's definitely a very nice addition to your collection I recommend it and I really like this dendrobium um, so as you can see then there is a new growth started to grow and these are the cane uh, after maturing and they start to lose the leaves and become leafless like this and the leafless uh, canes start to produce a flowering spike so it's a very um, nice collection to your um, orchid collection if you like to have different type of uh, uh, you know the androbiums and so uh, yeah that's it I just wanted to show you this um, and uh, yeah please give it a thumbs up if you like the uh, the video and please subscribe uh, for more updates uh, like this and my uh, orchid collection thank you very much for watching